All right, I'd like to talk to you about uh, gold and silver. Um, I'm a gold prospector, gold miner, and um, one of the things that you realize once you actually go out and start to look for gold and start to actually find some gold, which is a very nice thing when you actually find a little bit. One of the things that you realize is how much work is involved. So. I'm going to explain to you here um, my opinion as somebody who, you know, has gone out and pulled gold out of the ground in Arizona and in California. Um, it's, you can get gold in a lot of different states. If you go and search online, you can find places where it's available. Um, most of the time, there's uh, the Gold Prospectors Club of America has places. Um, if you come out to Northern California, it's the, uh, the New 49ers Gold Prospecting Club, which I'm a member of. Um, you, you can go out and work at your own pace, and they have areas where you don't have to you know, worry about filing your own claim and dealing with all the paperwork. So what happens is you, know, you go out there, you, if you run a, a high banker or a dredge, which you can't dredge right now because of California, um, if you, what I do is I run it up on a bench, I make a, a pool of water and run it in the pool so that none of the dirty water goes back into the river because that's part of the rules. Um, you can get some decent gold. Uh, you know, you can, you can, you can, if you have something else to take care of your, like say, if you have something to deal with your rent or, you know, if, if you have something that you have, you can pay for your food. And you only have to pay for your rent, or you know, if you pay your rent and you only have to pay for your food, you can you can live out here and do that. Um, the weather's not the greatest right at the moment; it's kind of cold and rainy. Um, but other than that, you know, it's you can you can you can get some, you can get gold out here and you can you can survive. Um, but the thing is, even at the price of fourteen hundred dollars an ounce. It's not, it needs to be $3,000 an ounce, $4,000 an ounce. I mean, realistically, it needs to be somewhere between eight dollars and $10,000 an ounce to realign it with what the money system and the currency, paper currency is. You know, the, the paper currency has been devalued so much in the last hundred years. Um, one American dollar now is can buy what about three cents bought at the turn of the century or in 1910. Um, we had some cats fighting outside if you heard that. So anyway, if you um, if you understand that, you know, I know several different people out here who have gold. You know, I know people who they. They, that's what they do you know they go out and they mine gold so the thing is that they're not selling it right now um, even at fourteen hundred dollars an ounce it's the va the dollars are so devalued that it's still basically like you're only getting about four hundred dollars an ounce and honestly if you're selling gold at four hundred dollars an ounce that means you're working for about a dollar an hour or less um, you, you really need to understand that, you know, any conversion system for gold to anything else is, is not realistic. Um, if you look at the amount of paper contracts sold to gold contracts, to actual physical contracts, um, I understand that there's about... 40 to 45 contracts for paper to each contract for physical of gold and I know I think silver is about 150 to 200 or more contracts for paper versus physical um, in order to simply eliminate the paper contracts of the physical gold market gold would be about 55 to 58 thousand dollars an ounce you know, um, 
that's the point that we're at, people. You know, silver is thirty-four or something dollars an ounce right now. Uh, realistically, silver should be five to you know six hundred dollars an ounce. You know, uh, realistically, gold should be at ten thousand and silver should be at five hundred, and that is that should be the established exchange rate, because traditionally gold traded you know 20 to 1 over silver so if you do that then that would be a realistic ratio um, I personally think that um, the only way that we are going to reestablish any type of sane monetary policy in this country is that and um, I am probably going to get a lot of flack for this video but what needs to be done, in my opinion, is that the Federal Reserve needs to be nationalized. It needs to be nationalized not to the government or to any other agency. It needs to be nationalized and turned over to the lawful citizens or the lawful residents of the several states. And the IRS needs to be uh, nationalized. The shareholder banks of the Fed need to be nationalized, and all of their assets need to be turned over to the people, to the um, lawful residents in the United States. You know, every single person who is a lawful citizen, um, I don't care if, you know, if you have a green card, if you have a work permit, if you have, you know, an alien resident card. You know, if you are going about the system legally, hey, fine, belly up to the table. But if you have come in illegally and have not contributed to the system, I personally don't think that you uh, need to be even in the room to talk about this. So uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, nationalize the national, the Federal Reserve, nationalize the shareholder banks. Um, take the Treasury and the IRS and turn them over. Um, the Treasury bond accounts, which are for every single citizen of the United States, need to be turned over to those citizens because it is our money. You have stolen it from us and we're fed up with it. You know, it's, it's time that you understand that we're not going to take it anymore. Um, I personally am going to be uh, making another video here in probably either tomorrow or the day after where I'm going to explain um, another project that I'm going to be involved in. And part of it is going to be uh, opt out. It's going to be stop paying license fees. It's going to be stop paying um, federal taxes. It's going to be simply opt out. Stop giving the federal government any money to work with because they are using that money to kill you. Then that's what it comes down to. Um, that's, that's reality. They are taking your money to pay for the programs that are killing you. Um, if you don't believe that, look at aspartame, look at, um, the vaccination programs, look at the FDA and food safety. Um, look at, look at. I'm not even going to go into Obama. I'm going to do a, a video on Obama here, but he's a joke and he needs to resign. Um, he will be held accountable, accountable in the court of history, and he will be judged a failure. Um, in the eyes of the liberal progressives, he may be a success, but in the eyes of humanity, he's an utter failure. And that's, that's the extent of what I'm going to say on that.